Greetings everyone, and great here. Another HRS2 Definitive Edition replay. As well on the bottom left side as the red Sicilians, we have El Sin Monzo. Mon so Monos. As well on the right side as the blue Vikings, we have Brian 546234. Of course, let's call each player civilization bonuses. Sicilians, they are a infantry and cavalry civilization. Start with additional stone. Castles. Castles build 50% and houses build 100% faster. Seems a way, weird way to spell that out. I'll just probably do two separate bullet points. Land military units except siege weapons receive 33% less bonus damage. Farm upgrades the farm upgrades provides 125% additional food. Wait, plus uh 125%? That means something gets usually gets increased by 50, it'll increase it by not by 50, but more than not. More than a hundred. Dodge in place watchtower line and as a sergeant over here, just a scout engaging scout. Looks like red scout starting to lose. It's going to slow down for a moment. Unique unit sergeant, which can be built at a dungeon, which can be available in the feudal age. Un unique text first crusade. Each town center provides five. Maximum of five, five town centers. Spawns one time batch of sergeants or surgeons. Units more resistance to conversion. Halbuk. Knights get plus one, plus two armor, making them a bit more effective versus the uh, cavalry. They can't get paladin research, however. Transport ships is not very important. Well, looks like a red scout does go down there. Good pick there for blue. Let's go and fast forward now since uh, all those things have done. Vikings, infantry, and naval civilization. Warships are not important. If she gets plus 20% hit points starting field age, we wear our handcart are free, which are incredibly powerful. Unique to units, Berserk and Longboat. Berserk is basically a health regen unit. Unique uh, attacks, Chieftains, if she deals both him versus cavalry, generous gold one killing villagers, trade units and monks. Bogs, Seaver, Archon Lines get and Longboats get plus one attack, and dogs cost less receiving, not very important here. Scout moving around. We have this scout pushing around as well. Uh, but you got a wave of archers not being put up by the Sicilian player. Yeah. Or maybe not exactly pushing forward, per se. Blue's eyeing for defensive archers, not getting his villagers properly queued up right now. Currently, Red does have four villagers' opponent. Archer's gonna make his way forward. Scout may have a breach here. No, both of these are all partially built. And now we've got these archers advancing forward, trying to find engagement there on to these villagers. Archer says receive a bit of damage there, trying to find some arrows over the walls. He does have flushing research. Blue's going for his own flushing. We also got a handful of defensive blue archers pulled on out. Blue soldiers may just want to back off to another wood line, such as right there. There, he has a good amount of wood in his walls, that's for sure. Archers still trying to get some hits there on these villagers. Those archers do manage to flank Red's archers. He does have fletching research as well. Does get a good hit there. Overall, Red's doing a better job of fighting. Does receive more miss there. Sense gets a good hit there. Another blue archer does go down. Red archer is doing very well. Nothing really got injured except for one. Does pick off the injured one there. Very nice. Does try to use the high ground advantage there. The blue archer is falling back, they're statistically a bit weaker. Does pick off that one there. Now they're both statistically even, but blue goes down. Great hits there by red. Red's just doing great with his archers there, picking blue archers off at the exact right moment. Red archers are one that does go down right there. Overall, red is doing really good with his archers. Does lose another archer there. And now both sides down to one archer. Red is going to just back on off that archer. Does get his buddy right there. Is that a kitty cat? Gain some bites there onto the archer. And he actually may lose the uh, archer right there. These other archers not helping him out. 
It does lose the archer there, and the other one does pick up the lion. Blue scout moving around, a bit wounded. Blue's having still trouble with his uh, village protection. Nope, he's going for Castle Age. And right now, Red, I think he just got a Castle Age queued up. Yep, both players are going for Castle Age, but the similar timing. Right, so has a significant number of archers in the field. He may be eyeing for more cross bows. He could, does have access to the Arvalos, but not the last round of archer tech. Blue, on the other hand, the Vikings do have access to Arbalus, all archer techs, as well as a unique research to give them plus one attack in Fuel Age. Archers trying to advance forward, trying to get Red's archers. Blue's archers are phase four, trying to get some more shots there. Red's doing a good job of dodging them. And Blue's castle rage is almost complete. There we go. Got our, got the crossbow and botkin arrow now researching. Right now, Red is going for his wheelbarrow bloodlines and not any archer attack. He may be no longer playing on archers. He still may want to go for botkin arrow and elite skirmisher. He can get elite skirmishers, right? Yes, he can. And get thumb ring. Scout push right forward, does scout blue scout right there. Red's archer's is about to going down. He can't get supplies, he can't get gamersons as well. Got a spearman still down here. We do now have another town center being pulled up by red. We got more knights being pulled on out. Which will help him overrun these crossbows, no problem. He does have a unique knight technology to give him additional armor. That's in pure age. Knights. There should be enough knights here to overrun these art crossbows. Plenty. There's six knights here and eight crossbows here. A couple of them damaged and wounded. But decides to roll around the back line, trying to get them flanked. It does get a good flank there. Back, push them up to the forest there. They're just trying to run away the moment. Knights having trouble engaging, however. And does back himself into the corner there, minimizing the surface area that these knights can fight two at a time, but the crossbows will go down. Nice, we're seeing a bit of fire there from additional crossbows. That crossbow does go down there. Does get a monster upon the field. I am for some monks, either for relics or I'm to get some conversions on these knights. Now, I do have another monster to employ down the field. See. <clears throat> Here in the bottom right, we do have these seven knights on the field. Red has not gone for any monster just yet. Blue has his first monk on the field, going for multiple monsters. He's aiming for mass monks. He's trying to convert his opponent's monks. Let's see. Viking monks are not that good. They can't get redemption. They can get atonement. Don't worry about herbal medicine. Heresy's nice to have. Can't get sanctity, which is a big one. Atonement allows him to convert other monks. Redemption allows you to convert siege units. Sanctity just increases her health by what 15 or was it 20? That's a decent amount to say the least. I think it was just 15. Fervor increases movement speed, which you can get. Faith, I forget what that one is. Illumination is faster recharge speed. Theorocracy allows you to combine your monks to get faster converting one at a time. So you can't get either of those, those are both powerful technologies. You can get block printing in Pure Age, but it does give them increased range. But overall, Viking Monks are not good. He probably should not build any of them past Castle Age. These two leftover wounded archers gain some damage there, but will be picked up by a single pair of crossbows. 
That one relic being captured by blue now is going for this relic as well. It's close to red space. Red will spot it there with that uh, outpost there. There's knights coming forward to retaliate. Another relic being claimed by blue. There's two relics down here. Does blue know about them? No, he does not. Monks do have good spotting range there. Knights are in spread formation trying to find that monk, and they do find the monk now. Just drop this relic there. He's trying to quickly get the monks back on the front line, trying to get converse there. Red's monk right there does not get a kill. Does get the kill there, Red's monk. Some of these knights will get converted. He does uh, convert a wounded knight there. He does want the whole ground stance there to prevent them from being automatically being passed back in the line. Red doesn't have a whole lot of knights of field, but there's also cross that are easily countered by knights. Large number of these knights are oh so wounded. No, seriously, look at all those knights. If he gets them falling back, he needs to get a monk out then to get the heal, and that would be very good value. Let's pick off some more of those wounded monk knights there. Only two of them are severely wounded now. We do have a single scorpion here. He cannot curve that out with monks. Crossbows do find them. Does get some high ground damage onto them. Right now has seven pierce armor. Crossbows have seven damage, so they only do one damage each against the scorpion. This relic will be cleaned up, so now there's two relics for red. And it looks like these monks, uh, Red's monks have been captured up those southern relics as well. Scorpion does go down to the crossbows. And it looks like they're both a little bit passive at the moment. We got now, it looks like Red's iron for a forward castle. Oh, and there's Blue's castle being built in the exact same location. Both of them eyeing for this high ground there. Red's Knights of Base 4 does not have a whole lot of teeth that spread them from the brand. There's one for a uh, castle right here. Gotta make sure it's good. So it's at the same time. There we go. Let's get some conversions there on those uh, Knights there. But even for some cool crown saints, they will get some slices off there. He needs to get these uh, Knights passed on in. Does decide to pass them in on top of the Scorpion there. Magano finds a good shot there. Takes out the Magano as well. Red's keep will go up before blues because there's simply more villagers wow. here. Does get them there, does get inside, inside the castle right there. Trying to hit blues villagers, he should be able to get it completed. It's going kind of close, however. And now the crossbows need to start getting inside there, get increased arrows for the castles. Got 19 versus 10, takes all those villagers. Villagers do fall back there. Right now, there is a pair of monks in a single. Crossbow right there. Going for some cards there. He needs, he's rallying them the wrong, wrong way. He can pop them out on this side to get some good damage. And Red still has a good number of villagers on the inside. Knights will slowly pick apart this castle. The Red's knights are evasive over trying to engage these converted knights. Patar does get a good hit there. And there's at least one Patar in the back there. As well as a good number of crossbows. Throw the crossbows inside the castle. It will get some extra arrows. As well as hit some of these knights. More Pitars there, does put the Pitar inside the castle there in order so he can recast on the other side. Knights don't increase the arrow count inside the castle there, but does get some good health regen, as well as just a good way to store them on the front line. More knights being put up by red. Crossbows just sneak inside the castle there. They do get in there, increasing the arrow count from nine, 4 to 9. And right now red is going for Imperial Age as well as more uh, knights. Blue right now is going for Imperial Age. Yeah, both are going for Imperial Age. More Pitars from Clone Field does pull up the Banning Ram, but the Pitars are getting some great damage there onto that uh, castle right there. Nice, maybe I am for. Nope, I'm not getting the close range there. Do you have a Magnet Hills trying to repair up these castle there, but the Blue's castle is in range of it. Let's get a good hit there. The castle's almost down. Needs one more Pitar, I think. He just needs a good hit on those villagers. And of course, he does, does not appear to have ballistics. And there goes Red's uh, castle right there to Pitards. 
Of course, he's, uh, he can have got the Castle Age technology, which is Chieftain's Infantry to bonus damage versus Cavalry generating gold uh, mm -hmm. when killing villagers. So maybe I am for a big number of Berserkers. We do have a Red Castle now going on up. Additionally, you can always get the bonus damage there with more uh, pikemen, spearmen. He cannot get halberdier. We can also get bonus damage there with potentially champions as well. You we have this Arbos research for blue. Does have, I think, a re queued up chief until go out later. Chief's on the build queue, going for a trebuchet as well. Red does have a defensive keep here. And Exotic Cat does get shanked by a Pikeman. Got a good number of these outposts being pulled up by Red, just trying to scout out his opponent. We do have a small gold deposit could be contested by the player. Red's going for this southern gold deposit now. Good number of pikemen being pulled on field. Looks like the keep is only halfway garrison. And now Blue's eyeing for additional castles. He maybe is eyeing for a large number of these berserks. Both players are in Imperial Age, so he could potentially get the uh, Odd Seagiver. I don't know how to pronounce that. We got Cavaliers deployed out over here by Red. Going for a large number of Cavaliers, he can not get Paladin, nor Heavy Cav Archers, nor really any other Archer upgrades. Trip Chase are now Red's. Blue Trip Chase engage Red's castle. It is on the, the Trip Chase is on high ground, getting bonus damage onto that castle. It is starting to use some villagers to get repaired on up. Blue's villagers are relatively close by. Could just ask one of the villagers there to get some repairs onto it. We've got a very, very large number of cavaliers here. We've got a good way of defensive spearmen. And since he has bought the, uh, the uh, castle technology, these guys do actually uh, bonus damage versus infantry. These cavaliers are not going to be able to decorate these out. How uh, Pikemen should be able to defend his trebuchets. He made this one, but he's going to lose all these cavaliers right there. Trying to get some of them converted, but right now the, these cavaliers are be killed off far too quickly. He has two trebuchets here. Red has lost his key, uh, castle there, thanks to being on the low ground. Carry okay, a pair of some trebuchets. Now, do you have these Pikemen advance forward? It will get some great damage on the siege units. So I'm trying to pack up the trebuchets. I can now start to get overwhelmed as well. Trip Chase looks like both of them will go down. Caterham does see some fire there from the Arb uh, Arbalists. I can push a little bit too far forward there, getting separated from their buddies. We have another forward keeping employed by Blue and just going straight to Eichmann, which against his opponent's current composition wouldn't be half bad. You know as well. Uh, Viking infantry are have more health, so even though it doesn't have halberdiers, I think the extra bonus damage and extra health are basically better than halberdiers. I can gain some great damage on those cavaliers. He needs to stop building cavaliers or anything else. Maybe go for champions or surgeons. Surgeons may be better. Naomi tells him says he correctly he has the castle out, he has to get a quick wave of surgeons. And we do have a nice little small wall in here to keep these villagers alive as it starts getting the another castle going on up. We got an absurd number of pikemen here. Cavaliers are trying to eye up our counterattack now. Right now Red's going for long swordsman, very, very nice. But they, his opponent could transition to Berserks and or his own champions. It should be superior. Skinny Blast Forge as well as melee armor. These Cavaliers do get stopped by, and they're fully stuck in there. Oh! He does manage to escape out some of them, squeeze some of them out there. But he does lose a large number of those Cavaliers. And he will not be able to breach this area. He does have even a stone gate as well as houses. Javier's McThor Fort poking this town center for one damage at a time. Just what the oh, game lagged a bit, my apologies. Let's get the two in swords from the base going forward. Uh, 
favorite chase games of the day from the town center. The town center does get the garrison. We do now have another castle being put on the field. And with all, well, all these less town centers, he will not be able to get the priest or wave of sergeants. Another blue castle being put on the field. We've got a bit of a castle creep. These pikemen will get ripped apart by that defensive ca uh, castle there. We've got some Arbos here. Swords on giant charge forward. He does have five pierce armors. He does have it. Uh, Gabrison's research as well. Great swords on charge forward. We just need some more of them. And he's getting cheap being upgrade as well as to uh, Cap Ram. Now we do have the uh, Berserks being put on a few. They are elite Berserkers as well. Not sure exactly when between elite berserkers and uh, champions. The one surprise me is the elite berserkers. They are fast and they hit hard. He does have all of his melee armor, or does he? He may be missing one. Nope, he does have it. Just need a bit more attack as well. Cast started to see quite a bit fire there. Do you have another castle being put up by blue? Very nice. Does blue have murder holes? No, we do not see murder holes yet. And it looks like red does not have murder holes either, which will get the those destroyed. And the chains of fans for they have 70 health, 17 attack, for the berserkers 16 attack and 74 health. Arbus in the back line gains a good extra damage there, and there's even the castle firing with some arrows from these champions. There's a good number of bloaters here. Pikemen not getting the mix as well. There's just too many champions here for the these horses to pull the front line. Those berserkers do get annihilated by those champions. The castle is at 82% complete. Let's get those arbalists inside the garrison there. That's when we start hacking down that castle. We have Bracer now being researched by, by Blue. Got more berserks being pulled on L as well. And now we do got the, I think he just went for his uh, Sergeant uh, Colin. Times, times five sergeant. Now I got these Berserkers fans forward trying to deal with these forces. Champions trying to hit these trebuchets. Famous do get cleaned up there. I wonder if the sergeant if it has the elite sergeant upgrade. No, we do not. Blue's keep is not being cancelled either. Being soon being built by a single villager. He does wall himself in a little bit there. The castle is pretty close to being complete, isn't it? 94% complete. More berserks on the build queue there. Got the wave of sergeants of each forward. And there is the castle. Those are still more as well. So you want to build the rest of the stove walls there. You may want to take time to repair up the castle. So right now, they're not elite. They do have six armor. It's going to take time to repair up the castle as well. And Red does cast some GG. This is Anne Gray saying thank you for watching and on the next replay.